Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mariana with HeavenLimes.com and I make and sell homemade candles. Today we're going to be making these beautiful wax sachets that I give away to my customers as a thank you for shopping on my website. If you're interested in learning how I make these step by step, very easy, then please keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any tutorials like this one. All right, so we're going to get started with a couple of items you're going to need. A lot of these I purchased from Amazon. Links in the description. I purchased these molds. Um, they are six cavities, and they hold uh, about uh, each cavity holds um, 20 grams total. And then for these round ones, each cavity holds 13 grams total. So the first thing that I want to do is, um, grab, you know, all of my supplies. One of them are these floral botanicals that I also purchased from Amazon. They come in a package of 16 little bags with different types of botanicals in there. Um, if you don't have these florals, that's okay. You don't have to use them. I just like to decorate them because it looks really pretty. Inside of that bag comes these plastic tweezers that you can use to grab your florals and just place your um, botanicals wherever you want. You'll need your uh, gram scale. I'm using today the sunflower from Candle and Supplies and apricot and honey from Swan's Candles. Um, at first, I did not like that apricot and honey, I have to tell you. Um, when I first got it, I hated it. I just left it all. I never even used it. I just really literally grabbed it yesterday um, or two days ago for the video and I love it now it smells so good anyway so heat up your TW30 according to the directions I'm warming mine up to 160 to 170 degrees Fahrenheit and then I'm going to measure out 10 grams of TW30 and then I'm going to add three grams of my fragrance oil again in this case i'm using the apricot and honey and i'm starting off with the sachet molds that are round to our right side um, i'm not doing the left side yet but we're going to do each one individually i'm doing them one by one so i like doing it this way it gives me more of an accurate um uh, measurement uh and it's less of a mess so i don't have to take out the giant pictures and all of that so i'm going to stir it with a bamboo stick and if you don't have a bamboo stick you can use you know a uh, lollipop stick or you know a silicone whatever just make sure that you mix it up for a good 30 to 45 seconds and as you notice here i'm just pouring it right into the first one and it's going to be the perfect amount now don't worry if it goes up a little bit more so for example if it's 10 grams and you go up 11 or you're at 9 that's okay it's not going to make a big difference one gram is not going to change anything because again we're using these to decorate you know you can put them in the car you can put them in a closet in a you know uh, dresser uh, you can put them in your laundry room and office it just smells really nice I did say in my previous video um, that I wouldn't um, exactly melt them and put them in a wax warmer but I changed my mind um, I would change I would actually um, break them up if I needed to and put them in a wax warmer the only reason why I say I wouldn't is because they're really strong and so if you're a person that doesn't really like strong strong scents then I wouldn't recommend it but if you do you could break them up and put them in a wax warmer if you choose to do so so I'm just going to continue um, and repeat the same process 10 grams of TW30 and then my three grams of my um, fragrance oil again apricot and honey and then I'm just gonna stir it for 30 seconds 45 seconds and I'm just gonna keep repeating this process um, so what I really like about this project is that you know I don't I'm not rushing to do it um, and there's really like no commitment because I'm not selling it to anyone so the imperfections that appear on them because there will be imperfections is really not going to bother me again because I'm going to put them in these little sachet bags and um, they're gifts so um, it's really no loss there so I like to do things like this for my customers because it just shows uh, my appreciation um, to them for you know to you guys too for just uh, supporting my channel so continue to do this step again I'm going on to the third one um, and just make sure that you stir um, and also 
you know, I've made the mistake too of uh, unmolding these uh, maybe four hours in, but keep them, you know, at least for 24 to 48 hours. Let it get really solidified, um, especially in this type of climate. For example, I have my um, my heat on because I'm it's cold here in PA, so and it's winter. Uh, so because I have the heat on, it changes the temperature variation of these uh, tart wax molds. Um, it changes that a lot. So, you know, for what you would normally do and unmold them the next day, uh, it probably won't be the case. You probably have to unmold them, you know, two days later, just because if you your home is warm, um, then of course it's wax, you know, it's going to soften up. Um, another question that I get is, you know, Mariana, if you put them in your car, wouldn't they melt? And my response to that is, yeah, um, possibly it will melt because, you know, of course it's the car and especially in the summertime, you know, that cars get really hot really quickly. So that's why I decided to put them in little sachet bags. Um, that way, if they do melt, it'll be, you know, it'll melt in, in a little bag. It won't make such a mess, but you can be the judge of that. You know, this could be your discretion. Obviously, if it's going to be a really hot area, then, you know, don't put the wax where it's going to melt, you know, uh, put it in a nice, cool, dry location. Um, so it's up to you, whatever you want to do. Again, we're going to just continue to repeat this step. I really like this project because it's very easy, as you can see, um, and the cleanup is very quickly. Um, one of the things that I noticed, this is my fifth time using these molds. The ones that we're working on right now, as you're watching, uh, two of these molds up on the top, the ones with the little ring, uh, two of them always break. They snap for some reason and they crumble on me, they break. Um, I believe it's because I'm not properly cleaning my silicone molds. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to clean up the molds really well. And how do I clean them? I get my heat gun. Um, after I unmold, I get the heat gun. And then I just kind of go through each little cavity. After that, I get some uh, paper towels and I clean each individual cavity one by one. I let it dry out and then I'm going to add some rubbing alcohol and then clean that up and then just let it dry completely. And then I'll hit it with the heat gun one more time to just grab any um, any wax residue that I may have missed. Because uh, I noticed that um, when I unmold them, like I said, they do, uh, two of them break I'm um, not sure if it's my handling or if it's because of the temperature or because I'm not cleaning out the silicone molds, but um, we shall see. I'll give you an update on the next uh, tutorial. Um, but, you know, do not fret if that happens. There's, for me, no need to continue um, to uh, blend the TW30 with anything else. If you want to blend your TW30, your tart wax, you can go ahead and do that. You can also uh, make these with your 464, which I have a box of 45 pounds that's literally just sitting there because I really do not like to work with the 464. Um, and the reason why I do not like working with 464 is because um, once you light your candle and then the candle starts to solidify it gets like a little cottage cheesy looking on top and i just don't like those aesthetics so for those reasons i do not choose to work with that wax um, but you can use it for these uh, sachets i think they'll work really nice again um, keep in mind of your temperature your um, environment um, a cool dry location works best um, so just keep that in mind for the next project. I'm going to do it with the 464. I have it in flake form. Um, and we shall see. Now, this is the fun part. What you want to do in this part right here, notice that the wax is starting to solidify. Not a lot. It's still soft, but it's starting to solidify. You can see the change in the color. Um, when it starts to look like a white, um, thin sheet on the top where you're noticing that it's starting to solidify, this is the opportunity that you want to start adding your botanicals. Do not add the botanicals when it's completely liquefied. You could, if that's the look that you're going for, there's no right or wrong way to do this. But if you want the florals to pop, then I would advise to wait for the uh, wax to uh, start to solidify and kind of show that first layer um, on top 
um, and then you can go ahead and start adding so that you can get that look once they are completely solidified. So that's what I'm doing with this project here. And um, as you can see, I'm just grabbing my tweezers and I decided to grab some botanicals that would match the apricot and honey. So like I said, I chose the baby's breath because of the color, kind of like honey. And then I chose these little flakes, um, these florals, I don't know what you call them, um, to kind of give me that apricot look um so you could just like i said choose whatever color you want you don't have to match the florals to the scents if you choose not to do that uh this is your own creativity and it'll look beautiful however you decide to decorate now i choose to decorate on one side um, just because i like the way that it looks but you can go ahead and uh, do the whole circle you can go all around if you want to you could cover the whole entire um, cavity if you choose to whatever you want to do like i said i'm sure it's going to look really really pretty um, so let me know if you guys have tried this project if it's worked out for you um, or let me know in the comments down below if you're using the TW30 and if this wax is a wax that you would recommend or you would use something different. If you blend your waxes to get a better, um, uh, a better achieved uh, sachet or whatever it is that you do, you can leave it down in the comments down below and let me know. Um, so just continue to do this. Take your time. It's not a race. Um, I tried my best to make this video not too lengthy, but it is a DIY tutorial. And so I apologize that it's super long, but I just really wanted you to um, kind of you know, make these sachets together like with me so that we can work together um, and you, you could take your time. And like I said, there's no wrong way to do it. Um, the only thing I would make mention is just to kind of let them solidify, give it time to harden up. So I'm going to continue to add these beautiful botanicals um, to my sachets and then we'll start on the next one. Okay, so let's get started on the oval shaped mold on the left hand side. So these measurements or these um, grams are going to be totally different than the ones on the right. We're going to measure out with our TW30 or whatever wax you choose to use, but TW30 for this project. We're going to measure out 17 grams of your wax and then add to that uh, 3 grams of your fragrance oil. That's it. 17 of wax, three grams of fragrance oil, and this is for one cavity. So each of these cavities um, on your left hand side is gonna hold a total of 20 grams. So 120 grams for all six. So because we're doing them one by one, we're doing um, 20 grams each. So 17 grams of wax plus three grams of your fragrance oil. Um, giving you a total of 20 grams and that's all I'm doing. That's how I decided to uh, Make this project. I prefer like I said earlier in the video I like doing this method because I know that I'm gonna get a better accuracy and Cleanup is gonna be a lot easier and it's not gonna be such a messy project It's clean as you can see It's not perfect by any means, but you know, it gives you a very accurate number gives you nice thick sachets um, and the end result is going to be really really pretty stir in your fragrance oil for a good 30 to 45 seconds um, and then you're going to go ahead and pour and then we'll repeat the step again four more times and then i'll let you know what to do in the next step as far as adding your botanicals um, again, if you don't have botanicals to add, then it's fine. You don't have to do that. You can leave them nice and solid if you want to. Um, or if you want to add color, if you have the liquid candle dye, 
um, so as you're adding the wax like I'm gonna do right now you'll add the wax and then next after that add whatever color you choose three drops four drops of your uh, liquid dye and then stir it in and then add in your fragrance and then stir that in for 30 seconds and then you'll get a nice color uh, I choose not to use the color right now because I like the white um, um, so that's why I choose to leave it like that but keep in mind that the sunflower from candle and supplies the one that we're working with at the moment that's going to change the color of your wax slightly it's going to be um, yellow uh, which I don't mind because sunflowers I'm decorating it with the little mini looking sunflower botanicals so it looks really good it goes perfectly with the scents so I really enjoy that um, but if you don't care for the discoloration of your wax like if you don't want it to change from white to yellow then um, you know use a different uh, fragrance oil of course um, but for this demonstration these are the two ones that I'm using and I just want to make mention that these are not available on my website these are just for the sachets and I wanted to keep it that way because I just wanted to give you something different um, that's not available for purchase so that you know you feel special because you are uh, and I'm super grateful for everybody that shops on heavenandlimes.com that supports my channel that likes to listen to me talk that watches my tutorials that learns that shares um, that likes that doesn't like you know thank you to each and every one of you so I always try to bring in some content that you know uh, is helpful to you that helps you kind of grow in your business and give you like the best advice and lets you know the errors and the mistakes and all of that I like to do those things um, with mistakes and all because you know just because it's a video you know we can edit the video and you can see what we want you to see but sometimes I want to show you you know the reality of it because everything is not perfect you know I make mistakes too I do make candles and wax melts and room sprays and all of that and I learn one minute I'll do it this way and then the next minute I'll switch it up and I'll do it another way uh, but you'll just stick to the way that's working for you for now <clears throat> Um, this is like I said my fifth time using these molds and this is the way that I'm doing it for now But I might change later on as far as the amount of fragrance oil that I'm using um, You can switch this up as well. It doesn't have to be three ounces. Excuse me three grams of Fragrance oil um, you can do two grams of fragrance oil um, You can play around with the numbers. So if this oval shaped one is 17 grams of wax you can do you know uh, you can do 18 grams of wax and 2 grams of fragrance oil. You can do 19 grams of wax and 1 ounce of fragrance oil. All depending on how strong uh, or light you'd like your sachets to be. Um, so it's all up to you. You can be the judge of it. Um, I believe that the more you do something, the better you get at it. Um, and that's, you know, speaking from experience uh, and it's true in life so the more you do something the better you get at it and you'll get to learn your craft um, better uh, the more that you do it so as for me you know I'm understanding these oils and how they work with different waxes um, and it's just becoming second nature to me so I understand now that you know just looking at the oils I know you know how thick one oil is going to be how how potent is going to be versus the one that looks a little bit lighter that kind of situation but here we are at the last cavity and now we're going to start adding the beautiful botanicals right now i'm just going to spill them right onto my replica surface and as you can notice on the left hand side you'll see how it's starting to solidify so this is the stage where you want it if you want the botanicals to lay um, you know uh, above surface uh, when you um, when they solidify and you unmold them and you want to kind of show off the beautiful florals and you don't want them to kind of drown in the wax this is the stage where you want to do that but if you really don't care for the you know the florals drowning in the wax and you like that look where it's kind of you know you can see right through it it's fine you can do it that way too but this is the way that I choose to do it because I like that look I love that you can see the florals so again grab your, your tweezers excuse me grab your tweezers and start selecting your beautiful florals um, some people like to just grab it and just sprinkle it right on you could do that but I'm doing it one by one because 
that's how I operate. <laughs> I'm weird. You guys know that. I like to do things like, like that. I'm very um, manic that way. Um, but yeah, so grab you know, the ones that look the prettiest, the ones that are open, the ones that show definition, um, that show exactly, you know, what it is and grab them and go ahead and start placing them wherever you want them to be. Um, I'm doing some on one side and then I'm doing some on the other, giving it this beautiful look that you guys see right here. Um, and we're going to go ahead and do the last one. I really love these because I don't know it just kind of gives it a nice little vintage vibe a nice little um, classic vibe as well so it goes with the spring and the summer um, and all of that so that beautiful look so as you can notice the color of the waxes they're different in the next clip you'll see what I'm talking about when I was telling you earlier about you know using the fragrance oils and then the sunflower one is going to be kind of yellow and then the one on the right the apricot is going to be kind of white so right here is where i was trying to show you and let you know it's kind of yellow it doesn't look it in the screen but it is uh, but it looks beautiful i'm using natural lighting this is the next morning um, and we're gonna do my favorite part besides um, adding the botanicals we're gonna go ahead and unmold um, this part always makes me nervous <laughs> because I don't want to break them all that hard work and picking one little botanical at a time and placing it to just you know have it break that's the part that is a little frustrating but we're gonna go ahead and unmold and you'll see that on the right hand side the little ring ones the circle ones two of those are gonna break um, and you know what it happens and I'm gonna show you that it's okay don't worry if it does you know what we tried our best we're not perfect and we'll just keep trying again so the two ones that broke I just go ahead and pop them into my wax melter and that's a perfect opportunity to test them out too for the scents so no biggie it's no loss there uh, it's a gift for yourself you know you know how you bake and then the crumbs of the cake is they say it's for the baker you know so kind of same thing you're a candle maker and the mistakes are yours to keep for testing purposes so let's go ahead and grab our silicone mold and let's tug at it slightly in all directions very gently top bottom all sides all locations let's just tug at it real gently and then slightly 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 and very slowly pop your mold out and it should look something like this all right these are still soft because I did have my heat on overnight it was pretty cold in the house but they're, they're still soft but they'll get harder as the days go by and things like that as the temperature changes as well but look at the back beautiful absolutely loving this i hope that you guys are enjoying this project if you are please go ahead and give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you like to watch tutorials like this and let me know in the comments down below what other tutorials you'd like to see the next one that i'm gonna do is going to be the room sprays that i do with my witch hazel um, I'm going to show you guys how I do that. So hit the notification bell if you haven't already. So that way you'll be notified when I upload that video. Um, it's super easy and I like it because there's no alcohol um, in, in the... Um, in the ingredients there for the room sprays since I have pets and I have kids I don't like to use all that but anyway this is the second one and we're just gonna go ahead and keep unmolding these so far so good I am loving how they look um, what I did after I unmolded all of these I um, grab these little rings that come with the packet of the silicones it comes with these uh, strings and then it comes with these like round little rings in different colors blue green white um, and then right where the hole is you just push the little ring right there not too hard very very gently with a very light touch you slightly push it in and then you just put in your twine you could put in ribbon uh, or you could just leave them like this if you want to you don't have to add anything to it um, and then I purchased these beautiful uh, sachet bags, they're transparent from Amazon. And then I just put them in and then it has a little drawstring. And then I just kind of tugged at the drawstring and then that's it. I put them in glassine bags with a little thank you card and a thank you sticker. And that's all I did. As you can see right here, there's a little bit of imperfection, very, very slightly, but no big deal. These are gifts and I'm sure that whoever receives them is going to be thankful and grateful for the gift. So nothing is perfect so if yours comes out with a little bit of a discoloration or a little bit of an imperfection that's okay they're still still pretty 
look how beautiful they are i absolutely love them with those little florals like that that's why i like to put the florals when it's starting to solidify like we spoke earlier um because i like this look um, i've seen it where you know people just uh, put in the florals when it's all liquefied and that looks nice too but i kind of want to show off the florals i think they're really nice and you know i think that we should uh, appreciate them if that's the look that you're going for but this is the last one and i really like it you see how thick it is so we did the right amount with the 17 grams plus the three of oil um, and it gave us a really nice look right there so now we're going to move on to the next one drum roll <laughs> oh my goodness uh, i tugged at this one and i have to tell you that this is the fifth time like i said that i've done this and for five times in a row, two of those rings break. And it's really sad because the ring ones, they're really pretty. They're so different. Um, and I really like how it looks. And too bad, so sad that they snapped. But so what? It's okay. It happens. So let's go ahead and tug at it gently with a soft hand. Guys, remember that this is wax um, and it needs a delicate touch. Don't be rough with it. Take your time. I know that we get anxious. We want to see the, you know, the outcome, but take your time. It'll be worth it. It should come out something like this. Very beautiful. I love the baby's breath. I love the combination of the botanicals with the baby's breath. I think it looks gorgeous. I like how it looks with half all white and half with the florals. Very elegant. Look, look how thick it is. I mean, that's a nice thick little sachet. Perfect. I absolutely love it. All right, so we're going to just place it right here on the paper towel. The replica surfaces in the bottom, they have a texture, um, and I work on it, and so I just didn't want to place the beautiful sachets on that. Um, but here, I'm going to go ahead and push this in um, and try to unmold it, and I want you to notice carefully where it snaps. Right there. You saw that? If that happens to you, don't worry. It's okay. Uh, no big deal. Don't be upset about it. Put this in your wax melter, in your wax warmer, and enjoy its fragrance. You're going to like it. It's going to smell really, really good. No big deal. Really pretty. See, it's okay. It broke. That one is for me. <laughs> so, no worries. All right, let's go ahead and unmold the rest. And just keep in mind that as we're unmolding, we're going to go ahead and tug at the silicone mold very gently. And then you're going to take your hand and you're gonna push in the silicone right there and you're just gonna try to slide your hand underneath it and just keep trying your best. Again, this one snapped in three different locations. So unfortunately, that one didn't make it, but I'm gonna try again with this third one. Let's hope that it makes it because these are really pretty um, and I really would love to gift them. So I'm just gonna try again with the same technique and I'm gonna just tug at it and I'm gonna just try to slide it out as slowly and as gently as possible. And hopefully this one will survive the unmolding. Um, and it did. So this is what it looks like unmolded. It looks so, so beautiful. Look at the aesthetics here. I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous very pretty and it smells so good the apricot and honey from swan's candle supplies um i didn't like it like i said in the beginning i couldn't stand it um i smelled it and i was just like for a long time i'm gonna tell you maybe for about wow six months i hated it i did not like it for nothing um and after that i opened it up and um as a matter of fact i forgot about it to be honest and then I opened it up. It was all the way in the back of my shelf because I tend to put all the oils that I don't like in the back of the shelf. And look how pretty. Look at this. And I went ahead and I, you know, opened it up because they use like black tape to seal uh, the cap so that way it doesn't leak during transit. And I took the black tape off. I opened it and I was just preparing myself for the stench that I was so used to. And when I smelled it, oh, wow it was so beautiful i don't know if it was after covid um but it smelled really nice but look take a look at how that cracked i won't even be able to take it out though but here is the finished product i hope you guys enjoy the video if you did go ahead and subscribe so that you don't miss any of my videos until the next one peace